Hello. Hi there. Welcome uh, to our stand. Uh, we will just start with only a couple of slides and then we will introduce ourselves. And this is Max and he will uh, take you to the first slide. Okay. So everything is changing and that's great, but that means that companies have to change also. And how we have to do that, we don't know, but n doing nothing doesn't really seem to be an option unless you're some kind of old school artisan and even then new technologies will, will improve your work. Um, we're not an artisan, we're from Silver Kruis and that's in health mature. And there's a lot of effort going into innovating uh, healthcare um, in order to reduce costs and help people to get better health. But today we want to try a bit different approach, we want to try not to I innovate the, the healthcare part, but um, see if we can um, uh, minimize the time between having an issue and uh, getting uh, uh, help. So no longer do we ne just need to care for the sick the best way we can, we need to prevent people from getting sick or try to intervene as quickly as possible. And this approach has one primary challenge and that's that as a species we're not that particularly good at long-term planning. So we keep smoking and keep eating the wrong things because, well, we don't get ill right away. Um, and that's why we need to be confronted with the earliest signs of long-term damage and get the help while it's easy to cure or prevent. So this may uh, shift the focus of healthcare from treatment uh, to prevention. And instead of curing the sick, we will keep people healthy. So to do so, we need to monitor bodily functions in order to optimize the timing of healthcare. And this means that we have to do something that isn't really fully accepted yet. And that is we need to monitor how we are doing physically and share the data with others. So, and accept the fact that this implies some kind of intrusive and shareable technology to do so. So only then can people get the help in preventing problems from getting bigger like high pressure, blood pressure or diabetes. Um, or be in time to accept a new life-changing situation like dementia. And what kind of solution can we think of? So people stay healthy and get more out of life. Okay. Yeah, this last sentence is the real um, problem we are standing for. It's also a really serious problem and a real case we're working on at the moment. But we need your help because it's a very big problem. There's a um, the time dimension in health because wh when people go to the doctor or getting, um, they, they, they are having something. They are ill or they're, they're, uh, there is something, but there's a time period. Uh, there, was, there was a time when people were uh, not sick and they feel strong, but the illness was just going on unless you didn't notice it, but it was there. And the time period between, okay, you're feeling good, enjoying life, but there is something going in your, in your body, and after maybe two years or a year or month, or a time period later, um, you had to go to the doctor, and then it's too late, because then you are going, we, we need to help you. And that, that, that the, the we as an insurer, we help people when they are sick, because we pay their health, and we help them to go to the to a best doctor. But we need, we want to help people in the early stage. So when they are feeling good and uh, enjoying life, and maybe we did, w the person have to do something very small to, um, to uh, avoid that they were going sick in a later moment. This is a picture. Um, this lady is running and she's enjoying from the sun and she feels good. She actually feels good because she got the music, enjoying life, and when she was done with, with the running, she felt, okay, I'm have done a good job. But what she didn't know is that her knees are getting injured. And it's very small, but she, don't, but she doesn't feel. And when she keeps running and running and running, 
um, after a time, there is the risk of getting serious injured. But when she knows that, wa that at, at an early stage she, she can do it slowly down or get a other training team, so she will, um, uh, she will, she will don't get injured. And that's the real, real case we're looking now with, with all the technology. There are uh, possibilities to help people in the early stage. But we don't know how, and we hope that you know it. <laughs> so, um, Mark, do you have... Yeah. Uh, so, this, this is actually a thing that, um, um, that also applies to um, uh, pre-diabetic um, um, people with... with, with who have um, ROC uh, type uh, um, injuries. Um, this is actually the help we need. How can we minimize the time barrier in health? So how can we take care that people will get the help they need and the health uh, care they need in the, uh, the most quick way possible? Um, that's it, that's the help we need. Yeah, and we hope you wanna join us. Uh, we got some workshops later today. It's uh, going um, how you can uh, work in uh, customer journeys. So help us to how can be the journey from this people in the early stage. <coughs> and um, are there questions? Can we? Is is the sign uh, assignment? Is it is it clear for you? Do you want to help us? <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Mm <laughs> maybe, yeah, sorry. Can you repeat it? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. okay. Uh, with the example of the runner, uh, don't you think that it's actually going to instill fear in people and have an unintended consequence of uh, preventing them from having fun or wanting to have fun by going on runs and other things that they find enjoyable because they can see kind of the pain they're accruing by doing those types of things? Uh, in that sense, how how effective would such a solution be because it's actually stopping them from enjoying their lives? Yeah, that's true. It, 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 it's not, I mean, uh, it's not that you need to get a signal every time you eat some french fries with mayonnaise or stuff like that. But the thing is that when there actually is a health issue, then it's always better to be there um, as quickly as possible. And the thing is that it's, it's in the end, it's always better to run than not to run. So it, it's, it's not supposed to be something like a police agent, like policing you not to run or don't do this because there are health issues uh, going on, but it's more giving you a, um, a good state of your health so that you can actually get the help as quickly as possible. The, the, the entire idea is that you can also um, um, well manage also your, your, uh, that data yourself. So if I want to, I can I can just um, um, share that with my uh, health peer, uh, with my uh, GM, and and they will maybe uh, signal something uh, when something happens. So I, I hope I hope it won't prevent people from running. That that's not really the idea, but it's um, the idea is to get the help as quickly as possible. Are there some other questions? I'm told now there's actually a prize involved with this, <laughs> and the prize is that you can win 2,500 euros in travel checks, 
and 2,500 euros for a um, registered good cause of your choice. Any other question? Yes. Can you tell us the judging criteria? Okay, that was fun. Oh, sorry. The judging criteria. <coughs> That's the only criteria. It should be a, pro a working prototype that, 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 that we can show or be shown. Is it the clear for you or not? No? Well, the thing is that we, we need to, um, we're, we're trying to get the, the um, to, um, we're trying not, not, not to narrow down the, uh, the, the question, but um, the thing is that um, the thing we envision is something like there are a lot of sensory uh, things going on right now, like uh, everybody runs with uh, Strava and RunKeeper and stuff like that, and all that data can be managed together and put together in some kind of dashboard. Um, and all that those sensors, they have like a their own dashboard, but it doesn't really, it's not put together and shareable yet. So those are the two things that are actually important for this, uh, for this concept. So you want Fitbit and Nike in one dashboard. Even greater than that. I hope you add some new ideas so that you see for now that we can also monitor if that or that and it makes a full completely scan of your body. Um, but also so that people will use it because I think it's very big barrier of your epic uh, if people want to use it. But how can you bring it back to, to a normal life and people will use it and they just see when there start uh, something in their body that they want to be uh, work on it, so that they won't stick in the in the in the future. It's very. Um, there are a lot of um, uh, things now eh, with, with Strava and, and and the Apple Watch, and they they notice a lot of your body, but it's just the beginning. And where will it end? And I hope you will give us some. Of, uh, with its prototype, how it can work in the in the future, and maybe we can uh, make the future clearly now. If you have have the solution, so we can invest it and make it uh, work for a lot of people. That will be the most uh, um, yeah, the biggest thing. <laughs> we are uh, uh, we are here today, and um, and of course during this, uh, and if there are some questions, please ask us, we will help you and, and find, uh, we've got some more information back uh, backstage and we can help you to, to um, give the information so you can make us uh, happy with to, to solve this problem. Are there some um, other questions? Okay, thank you. No, eh? Okay. <laughs>